Why do I have the feeling these vlogs are not going to be fun to edit? Of course, they never are really, but you know, when you lose track of what you've been saying, more than normal, it's really extra not fun. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning still, sometime, 11.30ish, something like that. Anyway, uh, as you know, if you watched last week's vlog, my mom's health is not great and we have spent the morning making phone calls and trying to make arrangements and things like that. But right now I need a walk and so that'll help with the stress. So although it's cloudy out, see, there we go. It looks like it's gonna rain any second. We did bring these. Uh, we are gonna go for a walk and get some steps in before lunch. Cause yeah, I really need that. So I'm gonna take you with us. We'll see what we can see and I'll be back. I'm up here, I'm gonna edit the vlog. And I have a bunch of artwork on my desk, some of which needs to be listed for sale, like this one, which I haven't done yet. Um, at the moment, I'm gonna just put it on the printer. I think some of it I wanna scan, so I'm gonna stick it over there. I have two piles of things that I need to send out to friends next week um, at some point when I do go out. So I'm gonna get those ready to go whenever that is. And yeah, keep myself busy, um, do some art. Everybody, it is 10:42 a.m. Monday, March 29th. Anyway, I got a journal page done. I'll put it here. Used up the few purchased store-bought dried flowers I have left from like 2008, 2006, whatever. I'm giving some of the rest of them away, um, and or selling some in the purge boxes. So along with some skeleton leaves. Anyway, I used the few that I kept. Page turned out really cute. Um, while I was working on it, of course, my phone uh, was just be buzzing off the off the hook, so to speak. Back and forth with siblings and stuff about my mom. So no changes yet. Home health care people go, go by my parents' house this afternoon. I haven't heard yet. I don't think that's happened yet. So anyway. Just a quiet afternoon, which is okay. <laughs> I think I need that. I'm gonna go sit and watch Grey's Anatomy. Maybe start a stitching project. Uh, well, I'm waiting for Bob to get off of work for the day so that we can go pick up our eyeglasses. And if he doesn't know, have, have to come back right away to go back to work, go grocery shopping. And then also wait for someone to call me about what happens with my parents, so. Oh, I guess the mail's not here yet, but I guess I could take in the garbage can. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll okay, so we picked up our new glasses. I'll put a picture of me and my new readers here. Aren't they fun? Um, and we went grocery shopping. More parental stuff going on today. I'll discuss later as I can. And we're out for a walk right now. It means we'll be eating dinner kind of late, but that's okay. I think we both need the fresh air. Fred's walking kind of fast and I'm kind of winded. We're so I'm going to stop. Downhill. So I'm going to stop talking now. Yeah, downhill now before it was uphill. I'll be back.
I would say good morning, only it's 2.28 in the afternoon. It is Tuesday, March 30th. It has been quite a wild ride today. Holy cow. Okay, I, of course, am worried about my mom and dad. Uh, that's ongoing. Um, aggravating conversations with some family members about what should or shouldn't be done with their care. Yeah, so I silenced some conversations and some social media because I just couldn't deal with it today. Not that they're wrong, not that we're, we were arguing necessarily, but I just couldn't today. And then worried about trying to get us a COVID shot and some problems getting some stuff listed on Etsy, which I just was the last thing I needed right now, but it was just not working. I fixed Etsy. I don't know what I did, but it's working now. I have absolutely no idea. No idea. Um, and I'm just noticing this one picture of this piece of artwork kind of sucks. So that's probably gonna have to be changed, but let me get the list listings created first. Um, cause that was a problem. I also did after much aggravation and stress and sweat, um, we got our COVID first shot COVID appointments for this coming Saturday. We're getting the Pfizer husband would prefer Johnson and Johnson, but, um, we're getting Pfizer. And um, we're going to get that done. I'm going to get all the listings created and get some of this artwork listed. This is the one that we need a new picture of because that picture has reflections in it. So that one's going to have to be done. This one is for sale. There we go. Well, kind of. And then this one. They're all being listed right now. And then I also have this one. This one. These have all been on my social media lately. Well, not all of them, some of them. Um, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> These have been piling up on my desk, you guys. Like, I've been putting it off with everything else that's going on. It wasn't like, not my top priority. Now, some of these are ripped out of journals. So some of them have other things on the back. So, um, yeah, this one does too. Um, so this one is for sale. This one is for sale. This one is for sale. And then we have one that I've, I've worked on on the live. I did it this year. And this is another version of the blue face. And this is done on a, a board, an art board. And so that one's for sale, which I've been meaning to list for, for a long time. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get all of those done and get them listed so I can get them off my desk because that's a thing, holy cow. And then I've got to write a note for one of the two birthday cards that we are gonna give out this weekend and, 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 and. But I'm so glad that I solved the Etsy thing and the Pfizer thing. It's big, huge steps in the right direction and being okay with turning some things off that I need to preserve my own sanity. Self-care is not a nasty term. All right, I'm gonna get to it, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is much later than intended. It is almost 11 o'clock this morning. I, it's Wednesday, by the way, March 31st. And I am headed to the post office and I've gotta pop into Fred Meyer really quick to pick up a couple of things I forgot we needed and didn't write down, so you know.
I doubt I'm gonna get a good picture of them because they fly off every time we get close. But we're out for a walk and our friendly neighborhood ducks are under the tree again. It's the same, I bet you it's the same mated pair every time. Hold on. Oops, right there. They get scared away a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's the convention center. Uh, I'm going by at the Nike, the Nike campus. I can't even, oh, they're there. It is 11.05 a.m. so I can still say good morning. It is Thursday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. I'm looking at the computer, don't get excited. Um, I already spent the morning, if you're watching this clip, you saw that clip, my husband played cameraman. I was making paper this morning um, out of some junk mail and some things from nature that I had that I've been meaning to do for a long time, so I got it done. I'm really using more free and found objects in my art journals and my work right now than I am purchased things. And if I'm using purchased things, it's things I already own. Um, I just finished getting my, where is it? There it is, daily drawing bag set up for April. And I'm going to be doing some doodling on some jelly printed little embellishments I made yesterday. I showed you a clip of just some jelly printing yesterday. I created a grid um, stencil out of a plastic um, tab divider, binder tab divider, so that I could jelly print little squares like this. And then I'm going to doodle on them besides what's already on there, but you could definitely use them as is. And they're just little small individual um, embellishments. You could turn them into stickers. You could do a lot with them, I think. So I am going to embellish on these with some markers and pens. I did this one last night downstairs and I think they turned out pretty cute. So I'm gonna do some more of that and um, get those. I'm gonna rip those. I have wide spaces in between because I want to be able to rip them apart. Um, I, right now, torn edges is the thing for me. So I'm going to be ripping those apart and it, probably adding them to the daily drawing bag or at least some of them. I'll probably do half up here and half in the bag that goes downstairs. Um, cleaning later.
made dinner. I got it cooked and I ate dinner. It was delicious, by the way. It's weeknight steak bourguignon, I think. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce that last word because it's French and I don't do French well. Anyway, I barely do English. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get some quick steps in. I've got about 4,500 right now and you know, it's just gotten to where I need my steps every day. I just am not comfortable if I don't do it. So I'm gonna go do that and get a little quick walk in. Got a flashlight, I've got, obviously got you all with me. I've got a mask in case, I've got my asthma inhaler just in case, cause it is spring. And uh, yeah, let's go see what we can see and I'll be back. When art and whatever other things you use to de-stress and clear out the negativity and cobwebs aren't enough, like, hello COVID, um, for me there's nothing better than unplugging and going for a walk in the fresh air, seeing the birds fly overhead. I don't think you're gonna, there they are, right there. Back that way. Anyway, um, there's a little bit of traffic noise because I do live in the, in town, but it's a very quiet neighborhood. There's a few people out getting their evening stroll in like I am. And the air is cool, but not cold. The sunset's beautiful. And other than you guys, I don't have any devices with me and I'm not accepting any phone calls right now. It does a lot. It does a lot. All right, I'll be back. Welcome spring. Have you vlogged yet today? I don't think so. It's Friday, April 2nd. All the kids are coming over tonight. We're celebrating two birthdays. And I just started a batch of sourdough crackers, uh, traditional sourdough crackle crackers. And then later, after we get back from a walk, um, Brian, one of the two husbands is coming over and um, Jenny's husband. And he's going to um, help me make some gluten-free crackers for his wife, Jenny, because she's gluten-free. So, and then we'll be able to do like a taste test. Well, everybody except Jenny anyways. So anyway, things with my mom are stable for the minute. More test results coming in and more people reaching out to my parents to help, which is great. And yeah, we got a bunch of chores done. And it's all good, I think, for the moment. Calm for the moment. All right, we're gonna go get some steps and I'll be back. Good morning, people. It is Saturday morning, April 3rd, I think. And it's about a quarter to nine. <sighs> Finishing my morning coffee. Bob's taking a shower really quick. And then we are off to get our first COVID vaccination jab. Yay, getting it over with, or at least starting the process. While he's getting dressed, I'm gonna turn the computer on, check on family texts and Facebook messages, check on my handmade paper. Uh, whenever I make paper, it just takes forever to dry. But it is getting there. But I got some wonderful paper out of it. It's going to be fun to play with. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. And yeah, ah, I'm hoping for not much more than a sore arm. After I get my vaccination, we're going to stop the grocery store on the way home and pick up a couple of things just in case we feel like crap later. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, we are back. We've had our first COVID jab. 
I only got a quick little video of the process of driving through. It was a drive-through vaccination site. Um, so if you're watching this clip, you've seen that clip. Um, but we're home, we're feeling okay for the moment. Um, and I'm gonna hydrate, I've got some water next to me. I'm gonna just plan on just parking my butt on the couch as is Bob and not doing much. We didn't plan much for the weekend and just in case and yeah, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and catch up on my journal pages because now I'm a day behind and yeah, just enjoy the afternoon. All right, I'll be back. I'm document this just for all of you who haven't had your vaccine yet. And everybody's of course gonna be a little bit different. We're feeling a little bit achy today after the shot this morning. Sort of like a bad, not a bad, sort of like you're getting like a cold or an allergy attack or I'm not congested or anything, just kind of that, you know, head stuff that goes on. I don't know, it's it's we, different. Um, we're both a little achy and tired. Um, Bob took a nap on the couch. You can hear his air compressor right now. One of the other things that happened this morning is evidently, uh, well, on the way over there, the one of the, the low pressure light for the tires came on. We weren't sure what was going on. One tire looked a little bit low. So when we got home and after he was feeling better, he went out to check it. There's a nail in the tire. So now we've got to try to go get that fixed. Um, so fun times at, what time is it? Um... Three oh two p.m. on Saturday, so that's going to be fun to find someplace to fix it. The handmade paper is drying slowly. It takes a lot to dry, so um, I can't wait to use some of these sheets of paper, no matter how imperfect they are. I, by the way, I wasn't trying for perfection because look at that. I didn't add any of that stuff around the edge. The cookie sheets I used to dry it have been used to stain and dye papers and other things. And the leftover stains and dyes, I just leave them on the bottom of the cookie sheet. So then when I do things like um, make paper, um, it adds to the paper. Here's one that's still drying. And it adds all that inky deliciousness to the bottom of the paper that's drying. And I can't wait to use them in my work. Uh, anyway, Bob and I are feeling okay, you know, a little bit headachy, um, tired, otherwise fine. And uh, we're going to just let the vaccine do its job and we're going to take it easy for the weekend. And hopefully when we have dose two, it goes just as well. But anyway, um, I'm going to go downstairs and be a couch potato um, because I'm going to just let my body do what it needs. And Bob is out getting our tire fixed. <laughs> Anyway, thankfully it can be fixed. Um, it's a blessing that it can't be fixed, right? Always blessings in every dark spot, always. All right, so that's it for the moment. I hope you guys have had a, a great week or an, at least an okay week. Um, you know, things are tough right now. Things are stressful for all of us. Um, by the way, my mom is stable for the moment. Um, her condition's not good, but she's stable. Um, she's not going to be getting a whole lot better, if you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, but she's getting the care she needs and is my dad getting the help he needs to take care of her. So that's good. And all of us kids are chipping in where we can. And it's, so it's been a good week. We're all speaking civilly to one another, which I can't remember the last time that happened. Maybe never. Um, so, you know, like I said, there's a blessing in everything if you only but look. So that's my message for the week. I hope you've had a good one. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be making some new content as soon as I can, as my schedule allows with COVID vaccines and my mom being sick and everything else. I'll, I'm working on it, I promise. I'm gonna try to film a few things ahead because I think the next couple months are gonna be kind of busy. Um, well, unless there's another surge, but you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so um, but I'm, I've got some exciting new things I think coming up for you all that you're going to really enjoy. And I'm going to keep doing little things on the side here just for the people who want to watch the vlog, like making paper. And if you want a video on that, I mean, I'm no paper making expert, but if you want a video on it, we certainly can work on that. <laughs> um, anyway, have a good week. Have a good weekend. 
like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to support the free content of your favorite creators, not just me, however they have that you can do that, whether it's YouTube membership or Patreon or shopping in an Etsy shop, whatever it is, check out their video description, see if they have something down there. And if they don't ask them, um, and not just here on YouTube, but over in the Facebook art groups, because I know they're all struggling right now. Uh, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask. And above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right? I'll see you later. Bye, guys.